Good evening. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to Reiki Live. Just going to try to get this shared out onto my page, my personal page, if I can do that while you're signing in here. So here we go. How's everybody doing tonight? How are, how are you? I'll tell you what, I'm just itching for a road trip. Anybody else feeling cooped up? Hi, Kristen. Hi, Glenda. I'm itching for a road trip. I just I want to get in my car and I just want to drive and go wherever. I just, you know, it's like we've been like so cooped up for what seems like a really long time. And um, I just feel like kind of anxious, just kind of not really anxious, but just ready to rock and roll, ready to do something different, ready to just get out and go somewhere and go see my family. Hi. Hi, I mean. Thank you for being here. Welcome. So tonight we're going to do a little bit of Reiki. And if you've never done Reiki before, welcome, welcome, welcome. You are in for a nice treat. Hi, Deb. How are you? All you need to do is just settle in. Find a comfortable spot that you can just sit or lie down. Hi, Day. Hi, Julie. Thank you for being here. Um, I'm going to be sending you some Reiki. And... All you have to do is set your intention to receive it. It's that simple. Reiki is an energy modality, and it heals on all levels. It heals the physical. It can heal on the mental level, the emotional level, the spiritual level. It actually starts at the spiritual level. And so it really heals from the root, fills you with that life force energy that gets stagnant, you know, and gets that that energy moving through us. Ki is how we say it in Japanese, and in Chinese it's chi, which you may be familiar with. In, uh, in India, they refer to it as prana. And so anyway, it's all the same thing. It's that, that energy, that life force energy. And so it clears out blockages from our chakras, from any negative emotions that we take on, any low vibrations that we accumulate it just it clears out those chakras and helps to get everything balanced and cleaned out and flowing smoothly and so just whatever it is that you need a little healing around whether it's something emotional or mental or maybe you're having a spiritual crisis or what feels like a spiritual crisis um just feeling kind of lost and not sure where to go a lot of people are feeling that right now maybe you're having a physical challenge it works beautifully for whatever you need it to work for. And it's like a smart energy. It always goes where it's needed. So we just, we leave it up to the divine to direct that energy to what we need the most. So thank you again for being here and find a comfortable spot. We're going to do Reiki for about 20 minutes or so. And then I'm going to pull at the end one of our wonderful postcards from Spirit. This is an oracle deck from uh, Colette Baron Reed. And I just actually read the back of this box tonight. I'd never read it before. It says, imagine traveling to a sacred place where you can receive communication from your loved ones who have passed on, your ancestors, your spirit guides, or even your guardian angels. What if they knew what you need to know about every aspect of your life's journey? And those of you that are on here regularly, You'll know that when we pull one of these each week, it totally speaks to all of us. We all get something out of that message. So anyway, I don't think it's by accident. I think it's a divine appointment. So settle in. And let's take a deep breath. Just let your body start to relax. Relax the face. Relax the forehead. Do you know how much tension we hold right here? Oh, just let that forehead relax. Relax your scalp. Down through your neck, your shoulders. Carrying the weight of the world on our shoulders, right? Let your back relax. So many of us right now are experiencing those low back issues, 
which Louise Hay, one of my wonderful mentors, says is feeling a lack of support. So whether that's financial support, emotional support, physical support, if your lower back starts to bother you, you might look at that and see where you need to be supported. Just letting that relaxation, calmness, Let's take a couple of nice deep breaths. With each exhalation, just let go of any tension. Just allowing our mind to quiet down. I don't believe the mind ever shuts off 100%, but we can make it background noise. Just allow it to begin to quiet. This is your time. This is your time to just relax. To just let go, just allow yourself to heal. Allow yourself to receive this energy. Reiki never does harm. It will never set you back. I do both Usui and Karuna Reiki. I teach Usui Reiki. I have a home study course that we do live attunements for either in person or on Zoom if you don't live close by. Anybody can learn Reiki. It's not mystical, it's not magical, it's energy. Everything is energy. And once you've been attuned to Reiki energy, you never lose it. Mm. You can learn to use it on yourself. You can use it on your pets. My dogs love Reiki. You can use it for your family members. Reiki relaxes us. And when we can relax our energy body, mind, spirit, we can allow our bodies to heal naturally. We have everything we need to heal. Since it is an energy modality, and we don't have to be in person to do this. We can connect with each other energetically, like we're doing right now. It's very much intention-based. So I set my intention to send this to you, to everybody who's on here, whether it's now live, or whether you watch later. You can go back and watch again anytime you feel like you need that because that's my intention. You just set your intention to receive it and to allow it to bring to you whatever it is that you need. Whatever you need some healing around. 
Whatever you need to let go of, just let the Reiki help you. Perhaps there's something you want to bring into your life. Let the Reiki help you. If your mind starts to drift and get chatty, just bring your attention back to your breath. Sometimes it helps to count the breath. For example, you may do like five, I am breathing in, five, I am breathing out, four, I am breathing in, four, I am breathing out. That redirects your attention. Our breath is our best friend. It's an absolute necessity. And it's a valuable tool that we always have with us. And we can do it anywhere. So anytime you start to feel a little stressed out or overwhelmed, bring your attention to your breath and just start counting. I have a tickle in my nose. <laughs> it's about to drive me crazy. Hi Mark, hi Brooke, thank you for being here. Sorry I don't see everybody's comments. Sometimes I see them, sometimes I don't. Mm. Different people feel different things when they're receiving Reiki. Uh, sometimes you may feel energy moving around. If you're sensitive to your energy and you're really super in touch with your body and how it feels, then there's a good chance that you will feel the energy moving through you. Some people might feel like some tingling or numbness. Perhaps you'll have like a little body twitch here and there, or you'll yawn or hiccup or belch <laughs> or the other end. It's your body just moving energy around and releasing energy. So it's all good. It's all good. Some people will see colors. Some people see visions. Some people will feel warmth or even coolness. And some people really don't feel anything at all. But Within a couple, three days, you'll just feel like something has changed. You'll feel like something has shifted a little bit. But seriously, if you have any desire to learn Reiki, learn it. It doesn't have to be from me. There are lots of classes around. If you're looking for some live classes and you're here in the Phoenix area, just drop me a message. I will put you in touch with my Reiki master who teaches classes all the time in Scottsdale and uh, I think she might be doing some in Tempe as well.
Our world needs a lot of healing right now, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> of course you noticed. So we can use all the Reiki healers we can get. To continue to send you Reiki as I pull one of our postcards from Spirit to see what message comes through for us tonight. I've never read a crappy message from one of these. They're just beautiful. And they always seem so timely, just exactly what we need to hear. I hope. How are you? Hi, Jessica. So here we go. Dearest you, going the extra mile to achieve your dreams and putting in some overtime will reap big rewards. Now is the time for you to act, to stir up some energy and put those plans into action. There are many windows of opportunity that open, but close quickly when you don't take the risk and go for it. Today, be confident that your hard work will pay off and you will feel that satisfaction and fulfillment of reaching your desired outcome. It might turn out even better than you expected. Isn't that amazing? Remember, however much work you're willing to put in, we will match it tenfold on our end. Everyone over here is rooting for you to win the game of life. So just do it. Loving you so much. Loving you so, so much. Mm. That's beautiful. And so what are you looking to, to put into action? Are you making some changes? Do you want to start something new? A new beginning on something? The universe is saying you just do your work and they will match it tenfold. Just have to do it. You gotta jump. You gotta close your eyes and plug your nose and take that dive off the, the cliff. It's scary sometimes, right? <laughs> but it's good, so yeah. Thank you, Day. Oh, perfect message, huh? Hope, yeah. They always are, they always are. There's parts of that at least that each of us needed to hear. And for some of you, I'm sure the entire thing just was, you probably just thought that they were talking just to you. That's how it works, right? Our little collective consciousness here. Okay, I'm gonna bring the Reiki to a close. Again, though, anytime you need it, just go back and rewatch. That's my intention for this. Mm. I have a grateful heart, and I thank you each for being here and for sharing this with your friends. And I'm going to try to be more consistent on Tuesday nights. Um, I moved it a little bit later, which is a little bit easier for me. And uh, so I hope it works out for everybody else too. get dinner out of the way this way, right? So thank you again. Peace and blessings to you. Thank you for being here. And I'll see you next week. Bye.